up, gang, gang, gang? It's your girl, Priest P, guys, and we back with another banger. And today's video is sponsored by Majosi. Majosi is a company. They have press-on nails. They have eyelashes. Soon, they're going to be launching their lip balm, lipstick, and hand creams as well. But right now, I just want to show you guys these awesome press-on nails. You know, sometimes, well, lately, it's been kind of hard to get to the salon. A lot of us are being in the house and just doing our own beauty and wellness things. But the great thing about Majosi press-on nails is that they're non-toxic. They, they have a beautiful salon look. If you look at the different designs that I showed you guys earlier of how awesome they look, like they look like someone painted them and they have different little gems on them things like that they're easy to apply they're waterproof also they have different sizes to fit different fingers so they don't just come with your standard pinky middle finger they have like different sizes for every finger so you give mul multiple size nails um they can last up to 14 days this is the part that was kind of amazing to me when i was doing my breeze nails is that it was no damage to your natural nail. I don't know if you guys ever put on your own press-on nails and that glue can be kind of tacky. It can get on your skin. It also has like a smell. But with this product, it's like no smell. It's non-toxic at all. Like it's and it's lightweight. It's comfortable. It's something cute to wear, like going out on like on a, on a date, a business meeting, um, things like that. So I really want to show you guys how this how these products work. Um, again, shout out to Majosi for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys click the link in my description. Use my code Prissy10 to get ten dollars off of thirty dollars so click the link in my description i also have a list of all of the nails that i have in this video so you guys can click on each link to if you want to purchase those but if you use my code prissy10 you get ten dollars off of thirty dollars which is an awesome deal like i said these are non-toxic they don't have no smell the glue don't have a smell like i'm just really impressed with this brand and then when you guys see the ending of how you take these nails off you're gonna be like what in the world these are freaking amazing so shout out to majosi again for creating something so great that's not non-toxic and also works great for like teenagers, kids, you know how little girls be wanting to wear personal nails and stuff? This product is perfect for them. Like I said, it is not harsh on their natural nail. So I would recommend, you know, checking it out for your kids, your daughters, your wife, your sister, your aunt. This right here is a perfect little gift. They have nail polishes and everything. All of this is non-toxic. It's just, it's just a cute little set. So let's get into making this look. So guys, I'm getting everything laid out on the table. This is the pack of how the nails come. I'm going to be opening it. And a good thing about this pack is that on the back of it, it shows you step by step of what to do, how to apply it. So that's a plus. But yeah, just opening up everything and laying everything out to get ready to um, apply these press-ons. So guys, here we have everything set up out of this box. All of this stuff comes in this one little box of nails, which is awesome. So right here, I'm cleaning off the nail surfaces. It comes with these little wipes to clean the nail bed, to shape it up. It has a nail file, it has glue, it has a little stick to take the nails off or just to push back your cuticles. So now I'm just sizing Mama Bree's nails. You know how I told you guys they had different nail size options which is absolutely amazing so that's what we're doing i felt like this was the cutest cutest little set i had little pearls on it and of course i'm gonna show you guys the finished look at the end but yeah just enjoy if you guys like these type of videos comment comment down below and let me know that you like these videos again shout out to majosi for sponsoring this video make sure y'all use my code prissy10 to get ten dollars off of thirty dollars of your order you might go a little crazy on the website like I did. I really enjoyed shopping and looking at the different styles. They got stiletto shape, all different shapes, guys. You'll really like it. So enjoy us putting on these nails.
so this is the finished look you guys this is how it looked like i said it's lightweight and comfortable very nice So guys, this is the part where you soak them in some warm water. You soak them for like three to seven minutes, just depends on. Then you try to scrape it with the scraper that it comes with, the little wooden stick around the edges, and it just literally just peels off like a little pillable nail. And it's very um, easy, and it doesn't leave residue on your natural nails. It leaves your natural nails looking natural like how they're supposed to look. Is not harsh on there, so I want to show you guys how to take them off. It was so easy, you just scrape and go. Shout out to my Josie again. Use my code Pricey10. What up, gang, gang, gang? Hey guys, I still got my little twist in my hair that I did the other day. Start. See, I wash my hair. And, then and I'm going to try to use this, this Dove yeah. amplifying and, and also this uh, Jackie's Car Glove. Yeah, you guys have again. used these two products. Yeah. <sighs> no, I haven't. And you can pick double. double. Yeah. I need to go to the beauty salon, but I'm not going to go to Valentine's Day. So this is what I'm dealing with. Why would you? I'm going to slap this. Sh ah! <sighs> they say, have a brother. They say, have a brother. So y'all, I'm finally done. This is the finished look. I don't know who I thought I was, y'all, but I just wanted to do my hair in some type of something natural style for a couple days because I literally just been brushing in a ponytail. So this is it. Hope you guys enjoy this little clip. Now let's get back into the vlog. Cause boy, boy oh boy, dang my baby hair is already on. Anyways, before we get into this vlog, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So yeah, today I have an appointment with the rheumatologist. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So it's 9.32 a.m. I have to be there at 10.35 a.m. And hopefully we'll see what's going on or whatever. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But other than that, I don't really have anything planned today. Just probably be in the house, chilling. I need to be studying. I don't know if I told you guys, but I am back in school. So I am taking some billing and coding classes, me and DJ both. Yeah, so I need to be studying for my, my test. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on today and I'll see you guys, let's get to this vlog. All right, y'all, so we here at the rheumatologist. And that would call me back soon. I got my little reading. They allow one person to come back. So that's great. <laughs> so I'm still, I don't see there's nothing up there y'all can see. But, all right guys. See y'all when we get to the back. So now we are in the room. This nurse just checked me in, checking my medicine list, check my blood pressure, my temperature, things like that. But hopefully today we'll have some answers of what is going on. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I won't be able to record when the doctor get in here. So, so So I'll, you know, every doctor is not as nice as my GYN. You know, she let me record in there. Um, even my primary let me record too, Alicia. But um, they, were they online? I know because they probably sick of telling you no. <laughs> they never tell me no. <laughs> Don't keep asking. Anyways, so I'll just let you guys know after this appointment what happened or whatever. I hope I don't have to get no blood work, but whatever. It is what it is. I got somebody beside me that been through worse, so whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> so I have to remind myself, like, girl, you better stop complaining. Shut your tail up. Because, baby, you living, you got somebody close to you that been through the storm, okay? 
So y'all remember that too. Remember when you go through things, you're not alone. Somebody went through worse and you just gotta suck it up and do what you gotta do. Trust God. Yes. Trust God. He did not bring you this far to leave you. Mm -mm. Yes, Lord. So, all right, guys. All right, gang. So this is all the blood work that she wanted done today. All of this right here. So, oh yeah, that was a lot of tubes of blood. Um, and also she wants me to get an x-ray on my spine to see if anything's going on with my neck. You know, I told you guys about the headaches and stuff like that. So yeah, sorry my lips that came off in that mess, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. They, like I said, they just want to do a lot of blood work to see if I have any autoimmune diseases. Um, they, you know, lupus is one of the ones that they think, but it's not, you know, it's not set in stone. And I'm not even going to claim that over my life anyway. So whatever. Um, she did mention about fibromyalgia, fi fibromyalgia and um, a rheumatoid arthritis or something like that. So all of those are autoimmunes apparently. Um, it's not telling what's going on. Um, but um, did, she's definitely going to get this stuff checked. She was a very sweet doctor. Her name is Kristen Hobrook with Duke, Rudy, um, Duke Rheumatology. So if you guys are in the Raleigh Durham area and you're looking for a good rheumatologist, she was pretty good. She was very thorough. She asked a lot of questions. She was she seemed like she was concerned about me. <clears throat> so that was a plus. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna just keep focusing on my weight loss and and reaching my goals and things that I need to do. So that's it, y'all. She said my results should be in in about a week. Sir, everyone's going to be different. They're all going to come in differently. Um, some take longer than others. But she said on longer than two weeks, she'll be giving me a call to talk about the results. So that's exciting to know. All right. Yeah, I want to try these stuffed olives. This one has blue cheese and garlic. This one has feta and garlic herbs. I think I'm going to get this one. Comment below if you ever had these. They look like they might be good. Look at the little garlic in there. Y'all. Comment below if you like olives or or not. Here's another brand, anchovy stuff olives. That's a no for me. And I like I like these pickle okras. Those are really good. Look at these. Simply Vidalia, pickled Vidalia onion strips. I bet that's hitting on a salad. 